So I got myself into a little Twitter kerfuffle, and I just want to go over it and explain why this guy's an idiot. This guy got so mad at me that he blocked me. An adult. I think he's an adult. I'm actually not sure if he's a minor. I'm sorry. I don't know who this guy is. But he got so mad at me that he blocked me. So let's go back. Let's go back to the beginning. I had to make a new account because he blocked me and I couldn't see his tweets. So if we start off, it's all from the OTV server. If you guys know Russ, you guys have heard about the OTV server. They started me back up. My favorite streamer, Spoon Kid, got kicked off the server. And I was sad about it. And I was like, ah, I already hated OTV. And he was talking about getting, he was like how he was doing the good thing, role playing. And he got kicked off for not role playing. And he was complaining about getting killed by people in astronaut costumes. And then he showed this little clip as an example of what he was talking about. Hey, I know you're trying to be quiet and sneak around, but I really think you should take one of Listen, these funny man, the hats. The last time we interacted, I had to deal with your fans harassing me for six months. So if you could just fuck off, that'd be great. I have no interest in talking to you. Oh, you buy so you don't want the funny hat? So I'm besides myself on how any fan could really harass this pleasant guy who's obviously not a dick in any way shape or form now i don't know what happened with this harassment but i can't find it i did one google search and i couldn't find it so i didn't really give a shit and then i made a funny comment uh saying it'd be kind of funny if we were harassing for seven months now got 10 likes including my old account shut up i don't want to hear about it and i was talking about how bad the otv server is and i take a look at the comments and i see that he responded and he was talking about how he was getting harassment from his fans and he never told anyone about it Congrats. I don't know why he was so proud of himself for that. And he's like, hope this helps you with a particular chip on your shoulder. He just sounds like a dick in that message. Like, why does this matter? This doesn't do anything. I was getting, I never reported it to anyone. Do you know why? You know how easy it is to fix online harassment? It, simple. I'm a god. That's how easy it is. And this dude is so proud of himself for not talking to anyone about it, which I don't get. People complain about harassment all the time from each other's fans. I see it all the time, especially with commentary YouTubers. I don't even really watch them anymore. I'm becoming one now, but... So I go in the replies, and then I see... Yeah, so this guy was getting exactly what I was saying. He was, he's, like, he's being honest sarcastic, and he's like, Damn, what a benevolent guy. Thanks for not messaging or reporting it to anyone. Because this, this tweet didn't make any goddamn sense. And he's talking about snark, which is funny. That's... Keep, keep that for later. He's he's criticizing Snark, <laughs> which is already ironic. And I'm just he, he's saying he's trying to clear things up, but that doesn't clear up jack shits. People on Twitter are stupid. He was talking about being handled in the DMs rather than retweeting it, and replying no. And then this guy, <laughs> this idiot, but he posted a video about it. When someone defends yourself, he's talking about how Spoon Kid posted the video about the streamer, which is stupid because this happened on Twitch and their words he said publicly while streaming. This is a streaming server. Anything you say on here is public already. So him just sharing it to another platform doesn't change anything. It, it's still public. It always was. And I made that point here. Now let's get into the more juicy stuff. <laughs> All right. So this, I went to his, his Twitter account because I didn't know who this guy was. And I was curious who this was. And, to, and then he was talking about annoying Spoon Kid fans trying to get under his skin. And then he tweeted, understand that you won't. Why would you tweet that if it wasn't already getting under your skin? If you didn't care, you would just let it go. At least I would. Maybe not everyone's the same. And then he talks about it's embarrassing. It's not just the roast posts that were moved. Many our peers like myself were also removed. And then he says, grow up. Same guy who was criticizing Snark. <laughs> and then I commented saying, motherfucker said grow up like he still doesn't play Among Us. And he doesn't just play Among Us. Sneaky Swapper Uwu. The irony to tell me to grow up after posting a video like that is just ridiculous you just trying to make <laughs> and then he claims <laughs> and then he says that you just try and mock me for having 10 plus friends <laughs> to play with i just don't get it <laughs> this dude just flex that he has 10 plus friends not nine not even 10 baby 10 plus on gang shit that is that is just sad i don't know I don't know what he was trying to hit home with me. I guess if I was lonely as fuck, that would hit hard, but I'm not. Unless it comes to females, please, if, you, if you're a girl, please hit me up. I'm, uh, I'm begging you at this point. I want to be held so bad. And then one of his fans comes in, who's also a streamer, and says, Lo, this is him. And I said, Amuga, <laughs> Amuga is better than sex. And I had to, I had to handle it with the guess it is, because I stand by that statement. Uh, what else was said? Oh, yeah, and I was like, did you just flex having 10 plus friends? Jesus, dude, because this guy is an adult, and he tells people to grow up, talks about snark, and does this shit, and complains about 
toxic people like this dude is he's in denial i don't understand what's wrong with him i said understand that you won't like he's, he's talking about getting understand and he said understand that you won't get under my skin and i said understand you won't bro if you if you make a tweet like that they're already under your skin and if you're this if you're this mad about it they're obviously already pissing you off to an extreme amount i don't get it and then this guy is also being snarky as fuck because of what i said and he's like oh no someone told your streamer to fuck off because his fans base is shit and then prove that prove that this dude's a piece of shit too i don't understand why everyone's trying to take the high road on his side i just i was having a bit of trolling i was having a trolling session and this guy just gave me everything i wanted like a child. I'm a child for wanting that, but he's not any better than I am. We're we're equal here. Like I don't I don't get why this guy whines so much. And then his his fan is whining, which is just kind of ironic talking about toxic fan bases and this guy's being a snarky cunt. I don't think I was ever that much of a snarky cunt. AKA being a toxic spoon fan cringe. I don't understand. Okay, maybe this was kind of toxic, but it's but it's right, but it's true, so it doesn't count. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. This guy does some trash thing, anything else, which isn't that toxic. It's, it's just a joke kind of thing. Yeah, and then this guy's from what I've seen in Spoon Streams, we've clearly gotten on your skin, another point I'm saying. And this dude, the same guy who's criticizing people for being stark and says, sure, buddy, whatever makes you feel important. This guy's a hypocrite and just a dick. I don't understand why he thinks he's such a high road. Isn't it said that the do this shit makes them feel important? I guarantee this dude feels so happy that he ratioed this, this kid with no fans. I, I, I don't... He's doing the same shit and people are applauding him for it when he's being a hypocrite. It's it's so annoying. It's so frustrating to see. And to think that this guy probably thinks he's in the right still. And to think that he won this. When there's really just no winning. Did you just try and mock me for having 10 plus friends to play with? I don't get it. There's more just ridiculous fans. Just block the ones coming to tweet at this point. They're not only making themselves look bad, but the streamer. This, I know I read it kind of stupidly. This would have been the best idea to do at the start instead of letting them just piss you off so much where you have to, to like respond and look even more like a cunt. Because the fans can look bad. If your fan base looks bad, it's not on you, it's on the fans. But when you start replying to the fans and being a dick, it's on you. Straight up, it's on you. But this guy is just, <laughs> this guy is ridiculous. More for the blacklist. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Josh. Really uh, got me going. I should stop everything I'm saying and just, I don't want to get blocked by Josh. The dro Is this guy a streamer? Oh my god, he is. He's got a decent following too. Oh, I can, this is one of those streamers whose profile picture looks nothing like them. There's always those streamers that are just, like, <laughs> I can tell. That's why I have a cone, so no one's disappointed by what I look like. I can tell that this motherfucker, I'm going to see a face cam of him. He's not going to be this handsome. He's not going to be that ripped. I can, I can, I can feel it. My bone. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking Jonah Hill's stepbrother, bro. What the hell? So he looks like he's wearing lipstick. That boy needs some chastic. ASAP. No Rocky. Wow. I called that. What is, what are these videos like? <laughs> Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Bongo Cat. Wait. Indeed. One that I may not be able to take. Is this the motherfucker who cried in the Among Us lobby like seven months ago? I swear to god he is. I used to watch a lot of Five Up. I know that sounds kind of cringe now, but when Among Us was big, I would watch a ton of Five Up. I think this guy was in a lobby with him. I I knew it! I knew it! Oh my god, dude, that is ridiculous. Wholesome streamer. I don't know if he is, though. I think this guy has issues. I, I mean, I don't want to clown on him too much, but there's, there's something odd about this guy. I just, I just, I can't put my finger on it. Like, this is, this is some something so stupid to tweet. I just, I don't understand. I don't know. That's my take. If you guys hate me, whatever, comment it down below. If you agree with me, comment down below. If you watched half a second of the video and then clicked off, also comment down below. Uh, album coming out soon, I swear. Uh, no hate to this guy. I know I was fucking with him a lot. I kind of feel bad now. I, I just think this guy's got a lot going on or something. But, um, peace out. Love y'all.